What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Here's Isabel saying hello there everyone. I'm like, hi Isabel, how are you? <laughs> She's here now. Okay, right now in Astoria it's 3.54 p.m. on Saturday, March 28th, 2020. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today. Say, did anyone else catch that concert on TV yesterday? My favorite band was, was one of the featured acts and their music still stuck in my head. Oh dear. There I go again, prattling on about my personal TV habits. Sorry, folks. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Well, thank you, Isabel, for the update. <laughs> that was, there was no news today. Well, good job. You're doing your job great, Isabel. Well, I have some news for you guys. Uh, but first up, I have a phone call. And, of course, it's probably telling the, the money in the account. And you guys left in the comments. I need to go to the uh, the ABD to get the uh, the. Oh, hold on. Wait, we sent a payment to your bank account. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be in the bank account. Great, great news, great news. And so yeah, my announcement uh, for you today, if I can adjust the microphone right here. Thank you guys for watching. You left over 29,000 likes in the first episode and it now has over 1.2 million views. So that is absolutely, fantastically incredible. I thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, I wanted to, so, oh, I think my cherry tree farm is gonna be done today. I, pl I know I planted some other trees and I actually have a, a, a question almost if I can relocate those. Uh, so we're gonna check that soon. Let me go ahead though and, uh, where's the shovel? There it is. <laughs> gonna go and get this rock by my house. It's like the, the house rock, right? And it's not gonna be the gold, but it's gonna be some uh, resources. So that is fine. Now, today what we're gonna do, we can adjust the town tune. I'm gonna do that. I'm also, I've been working on a banner and I did most of the work myself, uh, you know, but I ran, you know, a couple different options by Ashley. She helped me uh, choose which one looked the best. And then uh, I ran them, uh, I don't know how this happened, but I ran them by, by Yashi and she actually picked a, a color for the skin. I, I didn't see it before. And so I got the skin color just a little bit better and we'll get to use that later. Uh, see if it works. I don't know. That's all the stuff on my house. Cherry tree. We're going to try to relocate that specifically today. And uh, what is it? There's no news today. I'll pick up the giant clam. Coconuts are here. Uh, but let's go over. Oh, hey, hey, hey. This is good news because we can go talk to her. And apparently if you buy enough stuff, she'll eventually relocate here. So let's see if that's true. Mabel, what is up? Good afternoon, Zach. Thanks for stopping by. How can I help today? Uh, well, what's on sale? We're gonna have to just buy some stuff from you anyway, just just to get you here. Uh, do I really want any of this stuff? Uh, but we got this uh, these sweet shoes. Those are pretty cool. How much do I have to buy the basketball shoes? Yeah, I'll buy them. You got it. All right, excellent. Thank you. Those, those look totally different than what on the list. Do you want to look at anything else? Yes, yes. Let's look at anything else. Um. A yellow hoodie could work. Uh, sure, it's a, it's a parka, okay. I'll buy it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to buy. All right, cool. There we go. Thanks, and I'm just trying to buy like the expensive stuff to see uh, what we can do to get. I don't, I forgot how much you have to actually buy for her to come back out here. So here you go with those. All right, ta-da. Thanks. Do you want to look at anything else? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't remember how much I had to buy. Uh, I could buy some traditional pants, some a groovy tunic. Let's get this, sure. I don't know, man. I'll buy it. Let me know in the comments below how much I have to buy to convince her to move here. This is Sonic's wife, right? <laughs> Thanks. Do you want to look at it? No, I'm good. Thanks. See you next time. All right, maybe I'll look that up in a bit because I don't want to. I don't. I kind of want her to move in ASAP. And I'm just gonna drop this in my. I don't want to carry these clothing items around. I wasn't even planning on wearing them, except for the shoes. I will wear the shoes. Don't get me wrong on those. Those shoes. My shoes actually look pretty good as is. So no, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna drop off everything that I just got. Uh, put in storage. Put in storage. 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 There we go. Lots of stuff going in storage now. And I think I can, uh, can I? I can't use that right now. How do I move items? 
I don't know how to move items still. Anyway, uh, my house is looking good. Still got a skeleton in it. <laughs> spooky. Spooky skeleton. Eventually, I'll decorate, like, really nicely. Eventually, I will. Trust me on that. Trust me. You're going to trust me. I'm going to I'm gonna decorate. It's going to be great. So, what are our daily uh, quests today? Uh, if we take a look at our phone, we can go look at the Nook Miles Plus. We got to do... I don't have a times five? Chop down trees, sell fruit, sell shells, customize items. Okay. Plant flower seeds. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know how much I, I gotta buy from her either, but let me pick up the stick. There's a cherry tree, there's the bell tree, so once we get this, excuse me, just shake it. Okay, never mind, put that away. Shake it. There we go, we got some bells and a stick. And there's the next bell tree. So we can, uh, they want me to chop down trees, right? There we go, as requested. I don't even know, should I even, like, this one seems pretty close. This one, this one might be too close, but let's plant it anyway. Let's dig that up. There we go, and we'll just plant, maybe it's close enough, I don't know, maybe it's not. It seems like it's not close enough, so I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna chop down this tree. All right, great. And then I'm gonna actually dig up this stump. These oranges will be used soon. You'll see what they're used for. There's another fossil there. We're going to collect our, I guess, is it five fossils? Uh, let's plant the money back. Bury in the hole. Boom. And I hear that you can plant oh, two fossils side by side. That's great. Awesome. And then, uh, yeah, the coconuts are here too. Shells, we gotta sell shells. Might as well sell the coconuts, but I might do a coconut tree kind of farm thing going on. I don't know where, I think down here is fine. There's a bug. You guys see the bug? I don't even know if it's one I have. I hear also hear a gift. I think I have this one. Let me just go get it. Boom. Oh, what? What? It jumps? Did it jump away? Okay, wow. I maybe didn't have that? That's a big fish. I should fish it out just in case it's something cool. I think I... Anyway, here we go. It's okay. I'll get the gift soon. Now that's right in front of him. He surely sees that. Look at that beautiful fish. Come on, beautiful fish. Oh, we got him. We got him. It's a whopper. It's another bass. Black bass. All right, where's the gift? There it is. <laughs> okay, the, the shadow is not exactly where it is, but here it is. There we go, my gift. From the sky, what could it be? Uh, open. It's a diner chair. Great. Wonderful, uh, <laughs> snake, dude, what's up? Yo, you been training, Bunyip? No, but let's talk. This weather really gets the muscles glistening, Bunyip. <laughs> yep. You're in like a full body suit, though. Hey, there's another one of these bugs. I don't know if I've caught it. That's the thing, I don't know. We'll see if he says yes after I try. It's so such a colorful bug. I don't know what it's doing out right now. Got it. It might be the one I already have, though. No, yeah, tiger beetle. Darn. It is the same one. That's okay. And then, uh, you know, should we get the rocks now? I don't know. What I wanted to do was to talk to Isabel about setting up our town tune. Because, uh, you know, as far as I know, they don't allow sharps. And flats, you know, in this in this music, but I'll I'll get it as close as possible. She's asleep. <laughs> First up, we'll check this. Welcome to Nook Stop and Multimedia Terminal. Okay, once per day, seven days in a row. Seven plus days in a row is three hundred bonus miles. So I get three hundred every day. Let's see, redeem. Let's see what there what there is. I don't know if there's anything that I really want right now. 
The customizable phone case seems pretty good. The bell voucher seems okay. Different fences, of course. Rope fence sounds pretty funny. Um, such, such amazing things here. Some of these are super cheap. Cheaper than you would think. Uh, let me check the store, though, because the store is different. The Nook Shopping is a little bit different. Special goods today, Mr. Flamingo. That's pretty cool. That's for bells, too. Tulip hat, doctor's mask. Sweatpants. Uh, should I buy? Should I start buying the music? Sure, why not? Be delivered through mail. And then the Mr. Flamingo is pretty cool. And then uh, one thing that we can do, I guess we can check out our total. The ABD should have a bunch of money for us. Savings balance. Okay, great. Let's just keep that in there until I'm ready to repay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's talk to Isabel then. And then, uh, okay. I wish I could turn that notification off. <laughs> All right. I don't think it's Josh telling me that. Okay. Oh, Zach, it's great to see you. How can I help you today? Uh, I want to change the island tune. I'm certain you've heard the current Astoria Island tune. You really can't miss it. It plays in multiple lo locations across the island and it reminds us uh, residents of the time. I think the current anthem is a classic, but there's always room for change and improvement. You don't have to be a musician to compose a tune, so if you have any ideas for a new one, let me know. So I do have one. Let's play the one that is default. Yeah, so I can do better. And we're gonna do the best that we can to replicate the Zack Scott Games theme song. Keep in mind, we can't do sharps, uh, but we can start with, uh, I think F. It's, uh, I think it's F, hold on, what is it, F? Maybe it's GA, hold on. But it's also, we put, we put pauses, here we go. These are, these are like prolonging it. Let's see if that's the initial, I think it is. Let's see, let's see, hold on, there we go. So yeah, obviously the last part is not. Um, so yeah, close, uh, and then. I think it's DCD, if I can remember my own song. I think this is my own song. Let's see. Now keep in mind, like that, it would the, we can't have sharps and stuff. So this is as close as it's gonna get. So I like it. I like it. I like it. Here we go. One more time. And that's the Zack Scott Games theme song. If anyone wants to copy that, that's what it looks like. We are done. Well, I do have a little musical knowledge. Allow me to preview the tune you've created. Wow, she she knocked it out of the park. How inspiring, your new island tune makes me so proud to call Astoria my home. Now then, we'll start using it right away. I hope you'll enjoy hearing it when you're out and about. Can I help you with anything else? The other thing is, we need to change the island flag. Now, I need to figure out how to do this. You wanna change the flag in front of resident services and the one at the airport too, fantastic. Our flag is a physical embodiment of everything Astoria represents to the folks on the island. It's proudly displayed on front of resident services and outside the airport. I'll admit the design is a little dated. Do you happen to have something else in mind? I do, uh, but I gotta figure out how to actually make this uh, because I, I have, uh, there's a way to import custom designs and I don't, Oh my Zach, it's perfect in every way. Wait, what did I do? Did I actually? What did I? Do? What did I? Did I just choose a blank one? Okay, I'm good for now. We're gonna try to figure out how to import the thing, and I'll share it with you on the screen um, once I figure it out. So let me just. Uh, I think what I do is there's a way. Please wrap up. No, 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 no. Keep playing. There's a way to do this. I don't know how, but there's a way to access settings. No. Keep playing. Where are the settings? I don't even know. Are they in the phone? Let's see, it could be in the phone. 
could be under uh no custom designs how do i import custom designs i know you can do it through the app so i download the nintendo app and i don't want to do it manually but uh let me figure out how to set it up and i'll be right back all right so yeah i did do the regular flag <laughs> <laughs> That's the new flag right there. So no, uh, to do this, you need to download the Nintendo Switch Online app on your phone or mobile device. On the title screen, go to Settings, and then you can set up NookNet. And I don't know, I don't know what that's like yet, but it's uh, hey, hello Zach. This is where I take on important requests related to settings. The requests I accept here are a very serious ones, so children should get help from a parent or guardian. Now, what settings would you like to talk about today? <clears throat> Excuse me. So Nook Link settings. Nooklink settings, of course, of course. Then are you ready to connect to the internet and get set up with Nooklink access? Yes, please. So preparing Nooklink access. And when this happens, I'll need to then... Saving, do not touch. I don't know, uh... I feel like this... Yes, yes, setup is complete. Please try accessing it under the game-specific services section of the Nintendo Switch Online app. I hope you continue to enjoy life on Astoria. So that was easy. That's how you do it. In case you ever, anyone, anyone was wondering. So I need to restart uh, my app, my Nintendo Switch app, and hopefully that will then get it connected. And then I can scan in QR codes. I went to a website uh, that was uh, it was Animal Crossing Pattern Tool. It's acpatterns.com, and I believe you know I have it. I can. Uh, I have a, a QR code for you guys. I'll share it. I'll share it within the the screen. So let me look at my phone. Let me start it up right really quick. I'm sharing the QR code with you right now on screen. And uh, so what you would do is you would go into your your app then, and then you could go into Nook Link on your Nintendo Switch Online app, and you can scan in designs uh, with QR code. And so I'm gonna scan in a QR code right now, and this is the uh, logo that I've made. And it lo looks as close as I can possibly get it to my real logo. I'm gonna save it. And then this is now saved as a custom design. And again, I will share this with you guys, and I already did share it with you guys on screen. What beetle is that? Is that the same beetle that we just caught? Yeah, it's the same one. <laughs> so uh, let's go take a look. We'll replace that flag. I also forgot to look up how many bells I need to spend with this uh, with this porcupine, this hedgehog. Sorry, <laughs> I think it's a hedgehog. So now that we have that scanned in on my phone, I can talk to her. And then, uh, so go sit down. Hello, hello. We're gonna make the flag then. And you'll, you're gonna be surprised to see it. I actually won't because I already showed you the QR code. But anyway, uh, so change the island flag. And now this should be in my account because I scanned it in on my phone and they're linked together via Nook link. Uh, they're not here. Where, are, where is it? Hold on. You can now download, scan custom designs in Animal Crossing uh, in, in the custom designs app. Okay, so first I gotta go. I changed my mind. I did because I didn't follow directions. So here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so let's pull up my phone. Now we're looking at custom designs. And then we can get it from the QR codes. Okay, great. Download. Download. There we go. So now we're going to collect it. So this is how you do it. Once you scan it in, it's not as automatic as I would like it. But now that we can download it, I want to... I want to download the design name Zach Scott Games, put it in this pattern, override it. Ta-da! And that's seriously as close as I can get my logo in this game. I did, I spent like quite a long time on it actually. I actually, my logo is 30 pixels by 30 pixels, and this is 32 by 32. My logo also has more more colors, like the background has like a, a gradient green. Uh, but if you take a look right here, I had to do some, I, did, I had to do a few things. I made it a flat green. And also, um, if you take a look, I made it a flat green. Great. Close. Great. I made it a flat green. And also, some of the color, like I, I limited some of the colors because my original design was 16 colors. And so what I had to do is I had to go in. Actually, I think my original design had 17. I forget. Yeah, my original design, okay, no, it had six. My Just me was 16, but then the green background added the 17. So this, uh, I had to eliminate two colors. So that's what I had to do. So anyway, uh, now we can talk to her about making the flag. That maybe was TMI for you guys. You maybe didn't even know all the details that went into making the logo, but let's change the island flag now. I would like to submit a new design for the island flag. It is the Zach's Cut Games flag. Oh my, Zach, it's perfect in every way. Look at her face. 
<laughs> it truly captures the essence of Astoria. From this point forward, your design will be our new flag. Thank you for your submission. Can I help you with anything else? I'm good for now. So, fantastic. All right, then. If there's anything else I can assist you with in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. So, fantastic. Let's walk outside now and see this design. Uh, on, <laughs> we're gonna be flying the Zaxxar Games flag proudly. Oh wow, it's smoothed out. Weird, but it actually doesn't look too bad. That actually doesn't look bad at all. That looks pretty cool. Uh, I can't believe they smoothed it out. So that's there, and is it also on the airport? Let's find out if it's also on the airport really quick. So yeah, hopefully you guys. Uh, I don't. There it is. Very very cool. Very cool. They did smooth it out. Weird. Uh, Anyway, I was going to search for Mabel Animal Crossing New Horizons and see how much I had to uh, to buy from her. Uh, we look at her, how much I've just spent. Uh, hold on. Buy clothes as, as much as possible. Okay, so I guess you just buy clothes and then she'll eventually... Okay, so she... She's not necessarily ready to move in. It just says buy clothes as much as possible. Anyway, I bought like three things for her. Some of them will be gifts, uh, but I think I did a pretty good job. Now we can still, we can look for, I wanna go check out my cherry tree farm. I wanna do a couple things here. We need to explore a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this one. One of these could eventually be the, uh, the money rock. This one's not it, but that's okay. There we go, there we go. The rocks will eventually come back if you were to destroy them. But I think for now I'm in a good good position with these. Alright. So let's go check out the cherry farm. There's another fossil right there. There are five of these, right? Each and every day there's five of these. Probably. Also a bunch of weeds. I don't I don't like the weeds spreading. I need to eliminate all the weeds from my island. So here's my cherry farm. Of course, missing three uh, three trees. But I'm curious if I can transplant them over here. There's a different bug. That's a different bug. Hold up. I haven't seen this one lately. Forever. This is like a different color, right? Does it, does it matter that it's a different color? Here, I'm going to try to get it. <laughs> I turn around so creepily. Gotcha. Oh, wow. Yes. I caught an orchid mantis. Our friendship is blooming. Awesome. So I got a new bug. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm still looking for a string fish in, you know, one of the top areas here. I need to relocate the flowers, probably. Probably what I need to do most. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead then. And uh, there, there was a, there was a rock. Where were the other rocks? That's so cool that I found that. Lucky me. They like to hang out on flowers. I really should. I, I mean, I might just do this off camera. Get as, as many of the weeds cleared out as possible. That'll be. That'll take some time for sure. Is there a rock up here? What's that? That flew away. I scared it. There's a lady. Have I caught a ladybug? I have caught a ladybug. Lots of bugs out right now. It's probably a good thing. Let's see if this is. Uh, let's see if this is what we need here. Looking for the money. <laughs> Looking for the money rock. There we go. Nope, not the money rock. That's okay. There we go. Now I do wonder. Now I hear that you can dig up the trees, and now that my cherry farm is ready. I want to dig up the trees. Here we go. I should, you know, I do kind of want to learn how to make the rope fences, honestly. I think those would be fun to build. I swore there was another rock up here, but maybe I'm wrong. I wish I could just jump down. I have strong, stout legs. Come on, let me jump down. 
Here we go. Let's try this one. Uh, yeah, I always forget what I'm doing. Oops. All right, right there, right there. I'm going the other way, and that's, have I caught that before? Dang it, okay, I blew it, that's okay. I don't know if I've caught this before. I feel like I have. I had to have. Oh no, yes, I caught a centipede, 99 more out of a dollar pete. <laughs> so, oh, my net, okay, that's fine. So wow, uh, I can't believe that I finally, I, I, there was a new thing to catch. So I caught two new bugs today. Also still working on those fossils. I think I caught, did I get, only get five? I, I, got, I mean, there are only five left. Only five total, I have four to turn in. So yeah, I'm missing the fifth one. And that's okay, we'll find it. Deli, what's up my pal? Look, the song, the song, he's eating a sandwich. Can I have that sandwich, bud? Hi, it's me, Deli. I wanna chat. I'm gonna go real hard today. Gonna play hard, snack hard, yell munch hard. He said that before. All right. Deli, deli, deli. Looking for a fossil, fossil, fossil. I need to make another bug net. So let's go get to crafting. Let's craft. And then, uh, where, okay, yeah, we start off making the, the flimsy one. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we'll make another one. So we got a flimsy net, keep crafting. We gotta move on, move on, move on, and then we make the big deal net, there we go. It's much better than before. All right, we're done. Now, I'm just, I'm gonna find the other fossil really quick. I need to jump over here though. Hopefully I find it, I, I hope I do. Uh, there's also shells. Man, there's so much to do. I, I I keep wanting even more inventory space, but I think I maxed out an inventory space, aren't I? I mean, I, I, the problem, I have a lot of wood, a lot of excess wood and clay and rocks. I could probably store that kind of stuff. So I don't use it that often. But I need to shell, sell these shells. And I don't care too much about the muscles right now. I don't know what this is useful for. That'd be a nice gathering area. That's a big, big fish. Big fish coming up. Do I have room for it? I do. Let's, let's go get the big fish. I, th I think that's a big one. It looks pretty big to me. Let's see if he takes a bite. Ooh, right off the bat. All right, cool. It's just a uh, sea bass. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I was excited, but now I'm not. <laughs> so. Let's go, I don't know where the next fossil is. There's a whole other side I haven't checked though. Let's vault over the pole. Let's store some stuff before we do anything else. Because uh, again, I just have way too much in my inventory. And I'm not gonna be using all this stuff, but eventually if I run low, I'm gonna need it. So let's store all the woods that we that we have maxed out. And then, uh, yeah, put in storage. Put in storage. I want all my tools, like, here, let's, can we drop this? No, I can't use that right now. All the maxed out woods I'm gonna put in storage. There we go, and all the maxed out materials I'm gonna put in storage. There we go. Awesome. So let, let's see, let's see if I can get out here and, um, Switch my, I, I want all my tools in the very top row. Is that possible? I mean, I think it's gonna be possible. I just have to figure out how to do it. So first up, can I just like move it? No, put away clear favorite. Let's drop it, can I drop it? No, I can, I can't, you, I can't drop it, really? You're kidding me. Here, let's put it away first. Now can I drop it? <laughs> All right, cool. So we've moved that successfully to the top. Okay. That is a way to move it, by the way. What's a diner chair? Oh, cool. 
I used to have diner style chairs when I first moved into an apartment. Uh, let's get this axe. We have two more spaces. What are we missing? Okay, we have one. One, two, three. Oh, the diner chair. Okay, hold on. Drop. Wait, okay. How many items do we have right now? We have eight. So, yeah, we need... Yeah, we have much more than eight in the first area. So, okay, here we go. We're going to drop... Drop. Drop. And then drop this. There we go. This is how this is how I'm doing it. I don't know how you actually do it, but this is the, the way that I'm going to do it to organize my items. There we go. The first eight items are now exactly what I want them to be. The order to me right there doesn't really matter, but you get the idea. So let me put some more, a couple more things in here. I got a pet food bowl. I don't have a pet, <laughs> but I have a pet food bowl. And uh, let's see. This is a diner chair. Put this down. What is this? Black iron parquet flooring. Grim. Uh, so let's just put this in storage. Put the diner chair in storage. Everything's going into storage, my friends. And then uh, let's place the... There's no... There is plenty of room. Sorry. I got mad at him. My guy. Uh, play, uh, play, there we go. Place it. There you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. Pet food bowl. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. Every day there's stuff to do, and I I just somehow. Hold on, we got something done. What do we get? Miles plus things. We did. We got to chop trees down for 400. And then now we should have space to do what I was really wanting to do, which was see if I could transplant the cherry trees. So I'm going to uh, you eat a fruit first because it makes you super strong. So I have oranges, so I'm going to eat this fruit. What does that one of ten mean? Oh, I see. I get it. Okay, now this would be a big experiment. If this works, this would be great. Here, let's just eat a couple more fruit. Here, let's eat, eat both. Eat one. I think I need three, right? Eat. All right, great. So that shows me how. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. Here's another one. So another cherry tree in my inventory. And then there was like one more cherry tree, right? Oh, there's two more, but you get the idea. So I want to see if these actually work. Is if I can actually transplant them. I don't know. And there's a spare one just in case. Let's go. All right, this is weird, but I can't, I can barely. S All right, there we go. Man, okay. Okay. That's a sapling, right? What is that? Nursery cherry. Okay. Plant the full-blown tree. Ha! Maybe this could be a way to... Now, will they just die out, you know? Or is this like a good placement? I don't know. But let's see what happens if I dig this one up. Excellent. So we got some nursery cherries, which is neat. But we want to do the full-blown tree. Neat. Indeed. And then last but not least... So this is how you manage the cherry farm, I suppose is that you do like the full-blown cherry tree, you can plant them later. There we go, now my pattern works. What do you think about that? That is a cherry farm, whoa, hold on, something, something. hold on, let me go up there, hold on, let's see. Hold on, then I'll, I'll sell those cherries, I mean, that's a lot of money, probably, I can maybe pay off my something or other. Let's see what this is. That's right there, that's perfect. All right, I'll back up, I'll back up. I know that I need a, a kind of a large shadow from the top area here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, here we go. 
Hmm, he's waiting. This is so stressful. All right, we got something else. This is a cherry salmon. Okay, cherry salmon's fine. Not exactly what I was wanting, but hey. <laughs> oh yeah, weeds. Oh man, I need to really, really collect a lot of weeds. I don't even know if there's uh, any sort of uh, any sort of reward uh, for doing doing it today, but I'm doing it today. Why not? I think if I just do a little bit every day, then I'll feel comfortable, right? Also, I do want to relocate the flowers. Eventually, I'm going to start a flower farm and try to try to cross the flowers or something. I don't know. Another gift. Uh, I have room for the gift, so let's do it. Where's my slingshot? I, I get this is the old school way of doing it. Here we go. Come here. Come here. There you are. What? There we go. I'm just shooting the sky anyway. There we go. Present. Let's see what arrived to my island. Open it up. It is a throwback hat table. Cool. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what that means. Eventually, you know, I do have plans for how this town is going to look. But I think it's going to take me relocating a few people's homes. <laughs> All right, all right, it's okay. How much, uh, do, uh, do I have enough, yeah, I have enough space. I'm just gonna drop these off in uh, the deposit box, probably. And so, you know, if I, if I just, yeah, so it doesn't matter how many I collect then, because if I go overboard, then it'll be fine. But then I gotta also do the cherries, which will be next. I swear there's a fossil somewhere. I, I, I think there's five per, you know, day or something. I don't know. We could jump down. I don't know what the other fossils are going to be, but that's okay. I don't think they can be in the beach. Let's go back to the other view that I, I like the other view better. There we go. How about... Okay, oh, there's a message in a bottle. Who sent this one? Open it up. All right, this new DIY recipe was inspired by a scene in a novel I'm reading right now and, and really enjoying. I tried the recipe myself and loved it, so it seemed worthy sharing out. My recipe is yours to try now. So it is a cutting board. Okay, cool. Thank you, June, for the cutting board recipe. There's another, uh, nope. Oh, I did get uh, Nook Miles. Okay, hold on. Another stick. All right, here's some more. I was thinking, what if I get all the weeds from, like, the first level? You know, not the, not the level up, but all the weeds from... The first level, then the, I mean, I, the town people can do this too. It's not just me who works here. <laughs> I'm like, but maybe it is just me who works here. No one else seems to, there we go. Another one of those. So many shells to sell for real. They're going to have to be sending a ton of stuff to my, uh, to my account. All right, this whole section is clean of weeds. That's good, I think, right? Yeah, this whole section. Uh, now, if you go up, that's a different story. But right now, for now, this whole section is clear of weeds. So let's go on to the next area here. And also, I didn't see any fossils over here. I was hoping to maybe see some fossils. But we're doing a lot of gardening today. We, we did some major things, too. There we go. The less weeds, the better. I don't think I could have a weed farm if I really wanted it. <laughs> Just get that. All right, it's been deemed essential. Let's see what we have up here. Yeah, we could get these out of the way too. Like this is close enough to my cherry farm. And now, you know, what I would want to do is maybe make. I mean, the orange trees are nice too, but just to have a place for them could be good. I don't know. My native plants are oranges. And I could relocate all the orange trees if I really wanted to. But I'd rather plant the saplings first and then relocate the adults later. That seems like a viable strategy in my in my book. It's a lot, of, I mean, I don't know why, okay. You know what, how exciting is this? This is, this is the part I was starting to worry about. I was like, well, are they gonna really enjoy me doing this? 
Here we go. This guy's big. Let's see what's uh, going to happen here. You see that. You have to see that. Okay. Thank you. Right off the bat. That sounds good. What is this? It's... Whoa. I caught a koi. I've had this before. I have room for it, too. Great. I'm getting... I'm just getting really annoyed at these. I'm going to make a massive drop-off of weed, then, to Timmy and Tommy. Okay, I need to stop. I mean, I, I could just do this all day. Sorry, let me let me stop. And I could, you know, that's why I was thinking about doing it off camera too. Is that the mask thing? The mask the bug? No, I've got one of those. It's a different one. Mask bug doesn't stay on the. Anyway, here we go. Vault across. Boom. Before we go to Timmy and Tommy, I do want to go by Blather's place, uh, just to see, you know, what what he's got going on. He wants to see. He, he definitely wants to see what I have. I have a couple new things for him, which is good. Blathers, wakey, wakey. Who? <laughs> oh dear. Pardon me. So let's uh, let's assess the fossils. Assess the fossils. And uh, we got four. I, I don't know where the fifth one was, but or if there even is a fifth one. But there we go. Fossil, 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 fossil. Confirm. All right. Who? More than one, I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Hooray, I found something that is not yet part of our Steam collection. Okay, great. So let's see what we have here. Let's have him tell us about some of the new the new bugs that we have found. Uh, so let's see. Actually, we'll do make a donation. We'll do one at a time. That way he will tell us about them as we go along. Uh, whoa. I don't know what that says. I could try to pronounce it. Who could it be? It is a... Milo Kun Mingia. Milo Kun Mingia, probably. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved Milo Kun Mingia. The scientists who name these things just name them like crazy long things as a joke. As a practical joke on all the regular common civilians. Dear me, might I give it a short presentation on the topic? Yes, please. Please. Wonderful. Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? The Milo Kun Mingia is said to be one of the oldest fish-like animals. It lived well before dinosaurs. I was about It was about an inch long and seems to have no lower jaw. It is awe-inspiring imagining such ancient life. There is much we still don't know. We may yet discover even older organisms with even fewer jaws. And there you have it. <laughs> fascinating stuff. All right, so I donated that. And then... Uh, Let's don't make another donation. I figure out that this is the easiest way to get him to tell us the stories. Just donate them one at a time, and I can sell the rest. So confirm. There you go. Oh ho ho! Could it be? It is a diplo tail. All right. So let's see. Let's give give me the short presentation. Wonderful. Now where to begin? Uh, good old diplo docious. Diplo docus. Diplo docus. <laughs> What would you, we do without you? This stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. Those sturdy legs, that magnificent tail, and above all, that extraordinary neck. Did you know that its center of gravity was such that sitting up on its hind legs was probably easy? What's more, paired with its long neck, this ability greatly increased its reach for eating plants. Best of all, Diplodocus, I think that's how you say it, probably grew its entire life having no adult size. Oh, with, with, that, with that, we were so gifted. And that is what I have to say about that. Any hoot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. All right. So, uh, let's see. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, yeah, another one. We got some more insects here. And we got a... Uh, this is beautiful. An orchid mantis. He's going to hate it. Eek! An orchid mantis. What a wretched thing. Alas, I'm not... A, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more? Yes. Tell me about the orchid mantis. Ah, I see. In that case, <clears throat> the orchid mantis is a bug whose brilliant colors and petal-shaped limbs give it the look of a flower. This masterful mimicry allows it to hide it from predators in among the orchids. But oh, this fraudulent flower, it lures other insects in to drink its nectar and makes a meal of them instead. Imagine to behold a beautiful bud only to discover it's a bug instead. A repulsive revelation indeed. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. <laughs> so, I also have a centipede, which by the way, I have a centipede arcade machine in my house. Uh, make a donation of the centipede. What would you like to donate the centipede, please? Confirm. 
All right. Eek! A centipede. What a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about the specimen? Please tell me about the centipede. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. So here we go. In that case... The centipede's name means 100 legs, but I tell you now, that's a lie. These ugly bugs can have as few as 15 pairs of legs, or as many as 171. But because of how their bodies are segmented, they never have exactly 100. Oh, it's true. You know what else is true? Centipedes are car carnivorous, aggressive, and venomous. And their bite is quite painful, too. Horrible things, I say. Any hoot. Sincerest thanks. So, we donate it to bladders. Nothing else to do. Jolly good. So, uh, yeah, so we do have some things to sell. We'll sell those things. I'll place some more things in my house. We'll sell some things, etc., etc. But we're about done with today's episode. Uh, we did a lot today. We relocated our cherry. No, I'm going to get the cherries. That's right. Let me just drop these off really quick. Making a massive contribution in the store's drop-off box. Let's sell. Oh, my gosh. This guy. Is he going to catch that? Are you going to catch that? Is he going to catch it? I got it! <laughs> I caught a yellow butterfly. Shouldn't all butterflies be yellow? I caught it. What do you think about that? Hey, I heard that Pashmina is... Oh, no! What? Pashmina is ill and bedridden? Oh, my gosh. I hope she's all right all by herself. I'm worried. And So how about you go check up on her? I knew it. Daisy Mae was here just a week ago, and now I was feeling sick. Look, I got the, I got the sneezes. Hold on. How do I do it? I got the sneezes. And now, and now Pashmina is sick. Oh no, this is going around town. I got a doctor's mask. I need to get one for her. Uh, let me go ahead and put in that yellow butterfly that I... All right, here we go, yellow cell. Okay, I gotta go give her a visit first. I've been keeping my fossils for now. I don't know what I wanna do with them ultimately. Throw back hat table. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of weed. A uh, koi. Black bass, cherry, salmon, yellow butterfly, of course. It's a lot. Sell it. Let's go see what they have for sale in here. Here we go. Oh, I like how everything makes my theme song now. All right. This looks... There's a puzzle. Hello, hello. All right. What do we got here? That whole cooking thing looks awesome. Uh, how much is this? Seems like you're interested in the clay furnace. Limited supplies, so act fast if you're serious. There is one. All right, I'll take it. I'll buy it. That's cool. That looks like a cool furnace. Sold to me. And then uh, the rest I'm good with. Peace out, guys. Don't follow me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. Uh, now, I don't know how long it takes things to be delivered. But I need to clearly order another doctor's mask. I don't know. How can I craft one? Is Can I craft one yet? I don't know if I can craft one. You know what I should do? I should buy some more recipes. There's some more recipes to buy here, and I'll, I'll buy them. I don't know if I, one of them has a doctor's mask in it or whatever. But let's go. Welcome. Come. Curious about what's in the cabinet? I am. Here we go. Let's see what they have. That's cool. They have uh, some gift wrap. That's nice. I'll take. Uh, I'll take it in bulk. I'll take five. Awesome. Anything else look interesting? We got a uh, test. I've gotten that one, but this one's new. Wildest Dreams. Let's go and get that really quick. I'll buy it. And then, uh, so put it on my phone. All right. There we go. And we're done. I hope you enjoy. Okay, DIY even more. I do too. What else was here? What else do I need? Uh, flimsy watering can, slingshot, ladder, vaulting pole. I think I got most of this stuff. Anyway, let's see what new what new things can I craft today. I, I mean, I swear I bought so much stuff from these guys. What did I get done? What did I get done? We can claim the uh, selling shells. And then we can also... Uh, bugs don't bug me. We can get miles from that. 500 night owl insect. And then, uh, oh, here we go. Astoria icons. Oh, we did both of them. Nice. 500 miles. Flapping flag waver. And then a humming musician. 
Excellent. Okay. Oh yeah, I was gonna look at my DIY really quick and see what we got. What's new? It should say new, right? New. Wooden fish. Oh, that's cool. Brick oven. I can make some brick oven pizza. Okay, I just had to take a look at all this stuff. So new crafting things. Some of them more rare than, than others. Interesting. So let's uh let's duck out of here. Thanks so much. You're welcome so much. Um the doctor's mask. Yeah, I need to get one for Pashmina before visiting her. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That looks good. I kinda wish they kept it pixelated, but whatever. Oh yeah, what's lost and found? Clay, cardboard box. Fine, I'll take those. That's my clay. I clearly left it. Welcome to Nook Stop. All right, let's Nook shopping. These take a while to get delivered, but I need another one. All right. Okay, I'm done. There we go. Now, here's a question. Uh, let's just leave. I gotta go. I can't believe she's sick. I guess, I hope I didn't get her sick. I've been talking to her a lot. And I talked to Daisy May. And now we're communicating this disease all around <laughs> the town. Oh, no. Uh, so. Uh, no, it's not mail yet. I could give her mine. That's, uh, since I'm getting a new one tomorrow, I could give her mine. That's what people would do, is they would just, <laughs> that's, that's the safe thing to do. <laughs> Let's wrap the doctor's mask, where is it? I'll be, I'm getting a new one soon. Where did I put it? There it is. There we go, present for her. Hope, I wonder if she's accepting presents right now. Don't tell her that I was wearing this. <laughs> All right. Oh no. Pashmina, you here to see how I'm doing? Thanks, I'm fine. There's nothing to worry. Oh, she sneezed on me. <laughs> if I'm, I'm not wearing my mask, I can't wait to beat this thing. Oh man. Oh no. Ugh. My throat hurts so much right now. Hard to. Oh, she's sick. Knew I should have brought bought some medicine. Oh man. How do I give this to her? I can't. Can I not give it to her when she's here? Oh, she just sneezed on me again. This isn't funny anymore. I gotta get some medicine, but I don't think I'll make it to the store. Oh, medicine! Do they have, where do I get medicine? I totally forgot I can just give her medicine. All right, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's, let's go see. Med maybe they do have, med maybe that would be a better gift, <laughs> is medicine. I don't know how to give it to her though, but let's see. I didn't know it was just as easy as getting medicine. Let's see if they have it at Nook's Cranny. Oops. Let's see here. Oh, I also need to sell all my cherries. Forgot about that. All right, I gotta see if you guys have medicine. I might, you know what? If people are getting sick, medicine's gonna be in high demand, so I might as well stock up so that I, so that I don't run out. <laughs> I can sell in singles or in bulk. We want a bulk of five medicines. There we go. Purchase. Because what if there's a run on the store later? Like the whole town gets sick. I got to be the guy who has it so I can sell it for a higher price later on. That's the that's the right thing to do. But I'll give one to Pashmina. Just one. Let's see. Pashmina. Boy, oh boy. What has happened? All right. Oh, she sneezed on me again. I can't even remember what it feels like to be well. Cough, cough, cough. Don't cough at me. Beaten by a germ. So embarrassing. <laughs> oh, gross. Ha. Huh. Medicine delivery. Really? That'd be great. And also have you a present, but uh, well, you're... don't give her all five. She's better than ever. Ah, I think I'm saved. Thanks. Whoa, I didn't expect that stuff to kick in so fast. Are you big time, Zach? Yeah, that's the stuff you gotta get behind the counter. <laughs> uh, why don't I take this clothesline pole? You earned it, seriously, thanks, thanks. 
Alright, thank you for the gift. You gotta take care of yourself too, Zach. Or next time it's gonna be me saving you. Alright, I don't know. I don't fully trust that you're not contagious. Yeah, maybe I ought to start a medicine stockpile at home. I thought I could, like, will myself to get better. Turns out it doesn't work like that. Anyway, thanks, kidders. Can I not give her a gift? I figured being sick was, <laughs> was all in the mind, right? So if I concentrated on getting better, it'd go away. Well, that was pretty dumb of me. I just needed some medicine, kidders. I can't give her a gift right now, but maybe she'll come out. Uh, I'm glad I helped someone. Did I give her all five medicines? I don't even know. I'll, I'll check, though. Uh, so, Smile Isle. Oh, good deeds are their own rewards. But to go ahead, but go ahead and have some Nook Miles, too, for fulfilling requests from other island residents. There we go. Kindly standard. There we go. We got that. And then, uh, I guess we... How, did I give her all my medicine? No, I just gave her one, thankfully. All right. Well, you know what's up next. We're going we're gonna to farm the cherry trees. And, you know, I kind of want to do the same thing and make a coconut tree farm and relocate those. But, you know, we'll do it next time. So, uh, we need to talk to one more island resident as well. Uh... Let's see. Is she home? She hasn't been out. She doesn't go out that much. At least I haven't seen her out that much. So let's see what's up. Your place is looking great. I like the music playing. Thanks for coming, Snoof. Let's talk. You were hitting a bunch of rocks yesterday, weren't you? I could hear the clanking all day. Did you get anything good? I love it when a pill bug pops out. How Snoof, she probably eats them. When a pill bug pops out, probably just eats them immediately. So we got those Nook Miles done. We can claim, get those miles. Uh, I don't know what the rest is. Selling fruit, right? Sell fruit. Yeah, we're gonna do that with the cherries, so that'll be good. So let's uh, let's do that really quick. Ursa, come up here. Ursa's looking at me. She's about to bark at me, I just know. Ursa, come up here, have a seat. Have a seat. Good girl, good girl. She likes to just bark at me sometimes. I'll get my cherries done first. So they should have enough space to all drop down, I think. But let's make sure. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this away, then we're gonna shake all the trees. There's, okay. I can't even see. All right, how many trees do we have? This is five. We have 14 trees. So, uh, this is nice, this is nice. There we go. So we should have 42 cherries, right? can't even see. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if this is such a great idea. I can't even see the cherries on the ground. All right, this is <laughs> this is not good. I can't even see all the cherries. Where are they? Okay, maybe, okay, they probably need to be spaced farther apart. For one, I'm clearly not finding them all. I don't know what to say. I thought that this was like a good layout, but uh, I could be wrong. This is ridiculous. I cannot even see. All right, so probably for farming, maybe not. How many do I have? I do have 42, so I got all 42 cherries. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Maybe I don't have to see to, to farm. That's the philosophy I'm going with. Like, I don't, I don't actually gotta see. So let's go sell these really quick. We'll also get the reward for selling them.
And then right here. I guess I could have dropped him off. But let's see what we got here. Welcome, welcome. Zach, welcome, welcome. What do you need today? Let's sell. Uh, I want to sell. I'm offering cherries. To the quantity of 42 cherries. There we go. Confirm. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me to just a moment to run the numbers. And done. I can buy these from you for a total of 21,000 bells. That's good. Sold. That's not as much as I hoped, honestly. But still, that's good. And we sold some fruit. We relocated our cherry tree and whatnot. We got main thing though, we got the island tunes. And it all it's all good. It's all good. Uh, so let's claim Nook Miles. There we go. And I think we're good. I think we're good. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to come back next time for more. And I will see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.